Gentlemen, joining me now is the nation's number one new products reporter. Please welcome back to our show, the gadget guru, Andy Parr. Andy. Hi, Tony. How, How are, are you? you? I'm doing great. Good to have you. It's my pleasure. You know, as you know, I have a reputation, whether it's on the Today Show, in my newspaper column, or on my forum on America Online, of unveiling the latest in technology. Ah, uh, yes, you do. Yes, that's your reputation. Well, tonight, we're not going to do that. Really? Not at all. What do you all. have for us tonight, we Andy? We have some really fun stuff. Like, you know how when you get stressed out, you're just looking for a way to relax? I just smash stuff. Well, you do. Yeah. Well, this is something that might be a little bit less destructive, but it's oh, more fun. But here, let's try right. these on here. Okay. I have one for you here. What is this? Uh, what this is, is a facial massager. What you do, you put it on your head like this. You know, it comes around, right? On like this, and you look stupid. And, well, you do, but then <laughs> uh, okay, you have some knobs on the top here, and you turn them on. You turn these on. Okay. Oh, baby. And they, they yeah. vibrate. There are nodes up here that come around and get on your forehead. Great first sign of pressure. Must kill, gadget guru. Oh. <laughs> Must kill. <laughs> is this good for you, really? Oh, it, it really is. Doesn't it kind of feel nice? Imagine sitting back in a nice recliner and... This feels really bad. I mean, I don't know how... What is it supposed to do? It's, it's supposed to relax you. It has different speeds. Uh -huh. you know, that you can adjust. So you can walk around. It's acceptable to walk around Manhattan with one of these things on? I don't Pardon know. Pardon me, I'm going to adjust that the speed of my vibrator here. Uh. But, you know, they're, they're kind of fun. It's a great novelty, too. But uh, the, can't you see how. I don't know if I'd use them for a hangover, but right. for relaxation, it's just kind of fun. Or just to look like a fool. Yes, it does. It does work that way. All right, I'm right. going to keep mine running. Okay, well, I'm going to take mine off. Here. All right. If you don't mind. Your wives well, and me. What's next? Over here, you know, this is tailgating season. A lot of people before the football game get together, you know, have nice little picnics or whatever. Yeah. Well, you know, if you want to have a nice cold drink or something, you need to put it, to keep it cold, having a little insulator that goes over it. Mm -hmm. Well, instead of using those phone kinds, there's a new one out. In fact, do you want to try this? Or let me show you to do this. It's called the Candom. Oh. <laughs> it's for safe I'm drinking. So glad, I'm so glad this is for a can. <laughs> I'm so glad. I, I am. <laughs> Let me show you. I gotta, I gotta say, I was, I was feeling real bad about myself. <laughs> I uh, saw this thing and I'm like, wow. Uh, Andy Parr. Part. What you do? You, you lay it down. <laughs> oh, it's for a can. <laughs> oh, it's for a can, everybody. <laughs> oh. And it just fits the can. Now, here's how it works. You just put your can down like this. Mm -hmm. And you just roll it on. Oh. <laughs> and, oh. and there is one thing about it. It is reusable. <laughs> they sell for about $5. It's, it's a novelty, This of makes course. the drink look so unappetizing. <laughs> it really does. And, and I have to tell you. Cool, yeah, I really want that beer. It's we, gross. We no. have never put that product on the Today Show. Really? Yeah. All we right. probably you never will. You save that for us. That, that's all, all right. it is. Now, you know, now this time of the year, as yeah. you know, a lot of people, you know, the weather's starting to get cool. Yes. You have to rake leaves. This is a new product by Step 2. Yeah. And what you do, it's designed where you can pick up leaves. You know, it's very easy to use. So you want to try this? A minimum back strain. I'm sorry, this just looks dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, really. This is just, you but, like, just a shovel. Well, Take, you know, it, it's better than reaching down, picking up, and if there are any sticks or snakes no, or anything No, you're right. There. This is much better. Okay. Thank but, you. But, you know, yeah. I noticed that when I first got these in, that yeah. they look more like a pair of oversized salad tongs right. than, than they do for something to pick up leaves. So what we did, we got in touch with the cracked NBC props department to build us a, a large salad bowl. We have one right back here. Let's see how this thing works on salad. Okay, right back here. <laughs> and let's see if really <laughs> And it's uh, let's see if it works here, okay? NBC won't let us spend this kind of money. Why do you get to do this? <laughs> well, you know, this is we took this from whoa, from the NBC commentary. It does work. It does work. All right. Okay, this is for Andy Richter. I mean in, oh. would you here you go, yes. That's sweet. Feed it to my rabbit thing. <laughs> we need to get some dressing. But no, uh, honestly, those things are great for the leaves. They sell for about $25. <laughs> Andy, you're dropping your salad. Well, maybe oh, we should go pick I? it up. Yeah. Oh, you don't want to drop sorry. that, Andy. What? You want to be careful with that. Oh. That salad costs a lot of money. Sorry, sorry Andy. These oh. are great for... <laughs> and they... I have another name for this. This is the sexual harasser. <laughs> I think we found Bob out that Packwood had one of these. He did, I swear. <laughs> this is what got him in so much trouble. 
He did. You see, I never touched her. They did. Now, I have something else for you, you know, other than just products in the mouth. I'll give you 20 bucks if you take a leaping jump into that salad. 20 bucks? Is it going to fall over? you think I can do it? I don't know. No! I think it needs no, a little I, salt. I meant more this kind of thing, okay. actually. I meant more like just kind of a... Uh... about over here <laughs> this over here this is the most unprofessional demonstration there's ever been uh, there, there, go there, ahead what else is there well, you know lots of times we get products in my office well instead of products we get people telling us about their latest inventions okay here's one that just hit last week yes we, we got a sheet on it i want to show it to you it's the flatulence pad the flashman said somebody is actually bringing this to market. Now, is, is, is this a joke or is this real? This is a legitimate invention somebody is attempting to bring to market right now. What we did, it's not on the market, so we had our props department make us one. It's a pad that would go on the inside of your undergarments. And what it is, it has a charcoal filter in here. And what it is designed to do is to absorb the odor. But because it's padded, it also acts as a muffler. So nobody will know, even if it becomes inactive, where the sound is coming from. I'm, uh, I'm so glad that we stopped screwing around and got back to the serious <laughs> part of the demonstration over here. But, All right, well, this is incredible. You know, we actually have to run. We oh, wasted we so much time jumping into the salad. But that was fun. I enjoyed that. Yeah, and we hurt ourselves. That was... We're going to take a break, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank you very much for coming. Sir, thank you very much. Andy Parr, everybody. The Gadget Girl. Thank you very much. Actually, before we get going, I owe you 20, I realized. I have some lettuce for you, too. Thank you. And <laughs> Andy, you should get 22, because you jumped in, Ooh. too. Oh, I didn't even realize it was money. <laughs> yeah, there's money in this business. There's no money in TV. There is money in this business. All right.